Hey guys, I thought I'd make a quick video here. I've been experiencing a small issue with a memory leak in Battlefield 4. It seems to mostly affect AMD users running a 5000 or 6000 series card. There's been a few reports of people with the new cards as well as even the 7000 series cards running into the memory leak as well. Basically it's the non-paged memory pool being filled up uh, with just nonsense from Battlefield 4 and it ends up getting to the point where it just completely overtakes computer. You'll have like 98 to 100 uh, percent memory usage, and then your computer is almost unresponsive to the point that you know you need to hard reset the computer. And this tends to be really frustrating because it seems to happen about on average with most players is like two to three matches in, and then it just overtakes it, and you basically have to do a reboot. And that's something we don't want to deal with. Now there's actually a fix that seems to be working for a lot of people. Uh, so far it's been working with me too. I've been testing out for a few days here. They've been testing out for almost a week now and so far no problems. This is the recommendation. This is what's been working with them. Uh, is basically just all tapping out of the game. When you get to the very end of the game and you get to your stats before that new uh, game tries to load, just all tab out. Wait for it to load that new map. When the new map's loaded, jump back in. So far no issues whatsoever. We've had people that's played like over a hundred matches without having to reboot the computer due to the memory pool being filled up with just a bunch of random junk. Uh, same thing here, like I said, I've been running it for a couple of days. I've been able to play, gosh, probably 30, 40 games myself and still have yet to reboot. Uh, it's been working out real great for me, so I thought I'd spread this information. Uh, but do let us know below if that does work out for you. If it doesn't, uh, let us know what worked for you. We just want to keep this getting built up while we wait for DICE or AMD to come up with a solution that fixes the problem. Again, if this did work for you, do like, share, and subscribe. And uh, just post below your results, and hopefully we can get this game working in a state that we really like. Let's just hope for DICE, and hopefully this new patch really does fix a lot. Thanks.